Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. In continuation with our earlier discussion on various type of uh, olefin metathesis reaction, we have been talking about a ring opening metathesis. In particular, uh, we have been uh, talking about two vari uh, variations of ring uh, opening metathesis, metathesis. One is just simple ring opening metathesis, the other is ring opening cross metath metathesis reactions. Now in this uh, uh, discussion, it is important to note that this ring opening metathesis reactions are favorable for substrates uh, which are under uh, strain uh, uh, like uh, they have physical ring strain uh, which is the driving force for uh, carrying out this ring opening metathesis uh, reactions. So today uh, uh, we are going to look at various examples of uh, both types ring opening metathesis as well as uh, ring opening cross metathesis reactions and see uh, how they have been uh, uh, used for uh, synthesizing a variety of novel structures uh, which are of importance commercially as well as uh, uh, from biological point of view. So with this uh, let us uh, move on to various examples of uh, ring opening uh, metathesis reactions uh, that we would be uh, discussing in today's uh, lecture. or uh, ROCM, this is popularly called and a nice example is uh, given by the reaction as shown. This is called oxanorbornin. The reaction of this with vinyl acetate gives this five member cyclic compound which is a major product. along with the other product which is OAC. Now this reaction can be understand in the context of the transition state that may arise from binding of O acetate in one way resulting in the formation of this product or the same can be understood also understood
by the reaction with the substrate in opposite way which will give the other product uh, and uh, now this will lead to formation of two different products of which the major product uh, is the one which is shown over here. And as uh, seen that here uh, we see that uh, the ring strain of oxanorbornane uh, is the driving force for carrying out these uh, cross metathesis uh, ring opening cross metathesis reaction. Now, uh, as uh, we had discussed earlier that uh, these metathesis reactions are open are thermoneutral reactions in the uh, by the fact that uh, uh, the energy required uh, for breaking a double bond is also almost equal to energy required in the formation of double bond. So, there is no enthalpic gain as such from in uh, metathesis reactions. However, there are other factors uh, like uh, the ring strain uh, or uh, elimination of a gaseous ethylene molecule uh, which is formed as a product uh, which sort of uh, uh, leads to the formation of uh, this uh, ring opening cross metathesis uh, products. Look at another interesting reaction for uh, ROCM ring opening cross metathesis another interesting example. This is a cyclopropene ketal that reacts with and subsequent hydrolysis give uh, these uh, product. Now, this is a interesting molecule uh, uh, this cyclopropene ketal uh, if seen closely uh, this is nothing, but derived from the uh, protection or uh, protection of the carbonyl group uh, 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 to give this ketal moiety and this is cyclopropene ketone. Uh, now, uh, this in this structure is uh, uh, not very stable, it has a more stable structure uh, which is in its zwitter ionic form. Now, this is cyclopropyl cation and now this is conjugated aromatic compound. So, uh, uh, this uh, cyclopropane uh, propene cation is an interesting compound uh, which is sort of uh, derived from cyclopropane ketone and which is uh, stabilized in its uh, uh, zwitterionic resonance form. Now, as far as uh, this uh, ROCM cross metathesis reaction goes, then one can sort of envision the reaction between 
the two olefinic substrates leading to the uh, formation of the desired compound. Proceeding further, we are going to take a look at another example of ring opening cross metathesis reaction. And in this case, the substrate is also a strained compound, bicyclic compound with considerable ring strain. that reacts with this olefin to give this compound so it becomes a five membered cyclic compound as is shown over here and if one looks at how the reaction goes. Plus Eleven, and then the if the orientation of the two olefins are such, then this goes through the four member cyclic intermediate transition state to give the desired product, which would have one moiety of this and the other moiety this, this CH2 group arising on this end and the rest of the fragment uh, being over here. And here also we see that this is a highly strained substrate uh, where there is a five membered as well as a four membered ring and uh, of these the most uh, the four membered ring which is under severe strain opens up uh, to give uh, the corresponding uh, ring opening cross metathesis product and this compound uh, is called heptane. Uh, bicyclo 320, 3 2 heptane. Now, uh, these uh, uh, have gone uh, beyond uh, uh, 
e chiral substrates uh, to even the chiral uh, uh, forms of this has been reported. And in this case the catalyst obviously uh, the metathesis catalyst used uh, for the study is a chiral uh, uh, compound. So, we are going to take uh, a look at several of the chiral examples that have been reported for ring opening cross metathesis uh, reaction. Asymmetric ROCM or ring opening cross uh, metathesis reaction and the substrate for this is called mesonorbornin the structure of which is shown here. mesonorbornin in reaction with al allyl boron In this cross metathesis reaction, the catalyst is an asymmetric or chiral complex as is shown here. is a tributyl group and this is highly sterically demanding with another tributyl group both bound to molybdenum and this is a molybdenum imido carbon compound with phenyl and 2 methyl R equals adamantyl to give the compound which is shown over here and and the transition state can be envisioned from from the 
reaction of the reaction of this allyl borane in a conformation similar to this. So, that this is corresponding to the uh, vinyl substituent over here and this fragment is corresponding to the boronic ester uh, substrate over here and needless to mention that this also uh, has considerable uh, ring strain uh, that is so characteristic of uh, this ring opening cross metathesis reaction and has been successfully utilized for preparing this uh, asymmetric uh, uh, chiral uh, uh, compound using asymmetric ring opening cross metathesis reaction. We are going to look at another interesting example of asymmetric ring opening cross metathesis reaction. And here also another bicyclic uh, steric uh, substrate is used which is oxa bicyclo three to one of ten that reaction with tied in again using a chiral catalyst which I will draw over here. Ruthenium and uh, in heterocyclic carbene with a mesetyl moiety on one end. and uh, by by null with the oxygen bound to ruthenium as is shown over here to give the corresponding product
and the, the catalyst used is the chiral ruthenium carbene complex. Here too we see that a uh, highly strained bicyclic oxa octane ring has been used using a chiral sterically demanding chiral ruthenium carbon complex to give the product. Proceeding further, we are going to take a look at another example of ROCM ring opening cross metathesis in which this reaction has been attempted uh, two times. First one is a intermolecular cross metathesis and the second one is a intramolecular cross metathesis. This is an interesting reaction. So, here too one starts with an strained oxa norbornene which is highly strained ring that reacts with butadiene to give the corresponding ring opened cross metathesis product. a protecting group. So, one can see that this is intermolecular ROCN and that happens from the reaction of two substrates. as is shown here giving to the desired product in which the fragment comes from the reaction of this and the other fragment comes from the reaction of this. So, the reaction does not stop here, it further undergoes uh, intramolecular ROCM in which these two olefin reacts in an intramolecular fashion to give the product as is shown here
and this is a ring expansion that happens over here. So, uh, this is an interesting example where we saw two types of uh, uh, R, uh, ring opening cross metathesis happening. The first one is intramolecular uh, ROCM followed by intermolecular ROCM followed by intramolecular uh, ROCM again resulting in a bicyclic uh, ring. However, uh, this uh, is in mass much more expanded uh, form than it is over here. Uh, and uh, 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 and hence uh, this release of steering uh, 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 ring strain on going from here to uh, here uh, occurs uh, uh, using this nice example of intramolecular, intermolecular and intramolecular uh, ROCM uh, ring opening cross metathesis reaction. So, with this uh, uh, I come to end of today's uh, discussion uh, where we have seen various example of ring opening cross metathesis reaction uh, uh, starting from their achiral variant uh, to their asymmetric variant. And what we had observed uh, uh, that in all of these cases uh, of ring opening uh, uh, metathesis reactions that the substrates are uh, bicyclic compounds, uh, mostly bicyclic compounds with substantial uh, ring strain uh, which is uh, which provides the impetus for the uh, reaction. We have also looked into uh, the uh, chiral uh, versions in which uh, sterically demanding uh, 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 chiral catalyst have been used mainly uh, with binol fragments. Uh, uh, bound to the metal and they also successfully carry out uh, this ring opening cross metathesis in the asymmetric fashion. Uh, we have also uh, looked at a very nice example in the last slide in which a uh, norbornin compound uh, undergoes uh, reaction with uh, butadiene in, uh, first in an intermolecular ROCM fashion followed by intramolecular ROCM fashion resulting in the ring expansion. Uh, uh, to give another bicyclic uh, compound. So, uh, with this uh, I uh, come to the conclusion of today's lecture. We are going to uh, take up uh, uh, this more on this ring opening uh, reactions particularly with regard to ring opening metathesis polymerization or ROMP as we start in the next uh, lecture. Till then uh, goodbye and thank you.